Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming out to Nostalgia Personified. Let's get him up here on stage. You may know him from GTA 5 or Little Pete on the Adventures of Pete and Pete, Mr. Danny Tamborelli. And this guy you might know uh, from a little franchise called Home Alone, uh, also known as Big Pete, uh, as it were, Michael C. Morona. Hey. All right. Thank you all so much for being here tonight. Thank so you. Nice. Got a also, two-word Morona. That's what we called them back in the day. Well, never. You just would say two words. That's it. One take, two words. Two Two words, one take. Definitely more than one take. Don't let him fool you. <laughs> Mike, thanks for giving oh. me a, a scare pre-show. I, I saw him walking down the block, and I think he was just fucking with me because it was one minute to the show, and uh, so thanks. <laughs> Appreciate that. Um, Were you doing thanks, a two-step so up there? No. We didn't see you. No, I did the old triangle. Oh, there's somebody walking, though. That old, that's How did you guys maneuver me precarious. into being... I don't like it. I anyway. really don't. A- anyway, I ended up under the sidewalk, even though... I wanted you to be. Uh, I, I did the old triangle block yeah. gambit where Jeremy was looking that way, and I went around the block and was right behind him before he figured out. I just t- texted five question marks, which is very important. You know, it's, you know whatever I'm texting, it's yeah, like, Yeah, one whoa. question mark, and eh, two question marks. What's going on? Hey, serious. how are you? Three yeah. question marks. Is that your mom? Four question marks. I'm going to the hospital. Five, five question, marks. question marks. WTF. Mike is, Mike is missing. Yeah. Uh, never to be found. Well, we're glad he's here. Yeah, and thank you all for coming out yeah, so much. Thank you Thanks, guys for, uh, for we're, um, we're here, you're here. <laughs> Sketchfest is is all over the city. We had theorized that they're going to have it at the airport next year because it would be more convenient. <laughs> uh, it's not get them in, get them out. Get them in, get them out, <laughs> and then you don't have to pay for a hotel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it would be <laughs> uh, it's home for some. But the In and Out Burger in Daly City is better, right? Is oh man, it was worth it. It was <laughs> worth it. I, uh, you know, we make pilgrimages every time we come to California, mm-hmm. and I don't think actually you're allowed to call them pilgrimages when you go as often as we do. No, it's it's just a. <laughs> it's a, like a restraining order from In and Out Burger. Yeah. Do they, do they get to know you? Did they have pet names for you in Venice when you and Jeremy were over there? No. Wait. What? Don't, what? Don't bring. Don't, don't that, do that. When don't you do guys that, went to the, the In-N-Out Burger that often. Oh. Yeah, there was a moment in my life when I would go to L.A. and I would have In-N-Out Burger probably once a day. So what? Those Let, days are long gone, my friend. Let's not bullshit. Triglycerides so, are down and everything, so. That's a plus. <laughs> yeah, but no bullshit. If somebody walked in with, big, uh, with In-N-Out Burger, each of you would eat it. Again, you would eat it again and you would eat it right now. So diet, <laughs> diet be damned. <laughs> I thought you were gonna make a joke, a pun on diabetes with that. Diabete Dan. Dia- diabetes. Diabete Dan. <laughs> Your words. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I yeah. can make those jokes. That would be like a, an old Fleischer cartoon character, Diabete Dan, like Cuphead. <laughs> Could also be Dia Cheese. So then we're going back to the healthy. See, yeah. Come on, it's tapioca, man. What the hell's wrong with you? It's tapioca's good. Did you get addicted to Nickelodeon slime? Is that what happened? <laughs> You have never, you like, like. It was vanilla pudding. It wasn't tapioca. Now but you, yes, you're right. You're right. Now you're you right. grab people on the street and say, yeah. I don't know. I forget the, I forget the answer to that question. <laughs> Will no. you please dump a bucket on my head? No, no, no. I just keep, I just keep having to be an apologist for, you know, making m- millennials know about, you know, bukkake and stuff. But it wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. It was, I had nothing to do with it. So big it's tapioca's true. gotten to you too. Yeah, big, uh, I'm in big, big tapioca's pocket. He's in the tank, and it's lined with these little beads of tapioca. Oh. There. I think bubble tea is a good thing for New York. Uh, <laughs> nice, nice. You gotta have more Turn. bubble tea. You have to, you have to have more bubble tea, as far as I'm concerned. Like, if you have to, it's like good pizza. You could go a certain radius for good pizza, but you should have your neighborhood mainstay as well. That's a regional joke, Michael Morona. Well, you have lots of sliced pizza places by you, then it works. That is not an original joke. Well, but what, what, what do you mean? I don't know, man. I just I know about my cool down slices, and that's all I know about. You have one pizza place by you, or you have more than one pizza There's, place by you? I have many. There are many I'm pizza surrounded. Even the worst pizza in New York is fucking good. So what does uh, it matter? Let's, let's, that, 
I don't know. Okay, guys. I don't know. Well, yeah. no. That's my prerogative, so. I can do it. what I want to do. Jeremy, do we do anything on this podcast? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I was waiting for you guys to tank. And no, no, gonna... Jeremy, please. Uh, no, no, we've hit, we've hit the wall. I really want to hear more about pizza. Hit. Please say clear and apply the paddles to our body, Jeremy, <laughs> right now, dude, because we're so, fucking uh, flatlining. So part of uh, what we do on this Nostalgia Personified show is show um, commercials uh, that these gentlemen were in back in the 90s. So you're, uh, saying, wait, wait, so you're saying we have... So you're saying we're coasting, we're coasting on our past careers, and we have nothing going on right now? Um, Is that what you're getting? I would at? never say that. That's 100 percent accurate. No, I'm pretty. I'm sh- looking for work right now. If anybody's hiring, I- I'm available next week, but I'm booked on Friday. <laughs> So uh, this, uh, what we're going to look at first here is a, let's see, what is it? It's this probably, is a Daniel it's, Tamborelli. It's probably uh, a bear video, yeah. whatever it is. So yeah. Let's take a look. Let me get, get the lights. Out of your, you don't have to get move. Out of your way. You know, that's the cool thing. Oh, we, we keystoned it. We keystoned it just perfectly. The Make no mistake. Jack Slater is the last action oh, hero. God. And now Dude. you can be Slater. Jack, help! Pick on someone your own size, Ripper! You asteroid Slater! <laughs> Piece of kid! Jack, look out! Whack! Whack! You ripped my shirt! Big mistake. Have a dumbbell, dumbbell. Ah! You're such a drip, Rip. Keep Peck and Jack, Hook, Watch, and Danny, Axe, Swing, and Ripper, and Dynamite Jack Slater sold separately. New from Mattel. Okay, okay. Oh. Did you read for Dumb- Last Action Hero? I did read for you the, must the have kid read. in the last action yeah, hero. Perfect I didn't age get it. For you. Instead, they gave me a Mattel commercial. Oh, and but I didn't get to keep the toys, so... Yeah, exactly. You, yeah. you typically kept a lock of hair of each of your victims, right, when you did a commercial? <laughs> did Was that actually Arnold, or was that just a cutaway from a frame um, of a movie? It was actually Arnold's Arnold voice, for sure. Arnold was on set, sure. right? No, but it looked... It looked or was that a doll of Arnold? I couldn't tell. I don't know. No, it's, a, no. it's a video from the look, 90s. They both look the looks... same. Yeah, yeah. They, it's hard to tell those commercials. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, what aspect ratio I just remember was doing that, that I remember doing that, and that kid was annoying as fuck. That's what I remember. <laughs> I remember him being like... And it, this de- definitely wasn't the same kid, but he was a kind of like over-enthusiastic, like way... Just, just He was at like 12... And you're gonna be at like seven or something. He's like the guy who goes into an audition and like, they're like, okay, slate your name. And he's like, my name is Jeremy Dalen. Why? Why did you, any name in the book you could have? <laughs> that's what my parents named me. No, I'm Jeremy no, no. Dalen, and, and I'm 12 years old. I'm Jeremy Dalen. Want to see my I'm, hands? Here they are. I'm five. I'm five foot one, and I give myself a ten. Oh. And you're like, oh, oh yeah. geez, this yeah. is. I'm never getting this commercial. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> And that kid but is somehow, never getting somehow, out of therapy. Somehow he managed to get a commercial, and I was in it with him. And he was uh, just uh, awful. He was a supporting player, though, right? You were the main yeah, character. Yeah, he was pissed off. He was pissed off because he got to be the play the bad guy, and I was playing the, like, I'm rooting for Arnold. And I remember him, like, specifically being, like, sh- you, just you being, been... like, butthurt about it. And I was like, come on, man. I don't think Look, butthurt, we're all go- butthurt my, did not exist in the 90s. My parents used to take me to Toys R Us after I got a commercial, and I could do pick anything I wanted. So I was like, come on, dude. Aren't your parents going to take you to, to Toys R Us? Because you're going to get, the ritual, you're gonna get you know, like, like something cool, like man. Usually like usually happens. I'm, I'm looking at, I don't even know what I'm looking at He's right like, now. He's like, I don't know about like, you, but I have 22 Daisy 22 <laughs> rifles on the wall in my basement. <laughs> <laughs> I did 22 commercials and I got 22 guns. Sounds about right. <laughs> I've been to your house. Oh, no, you haven't. That's not meant. No, 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 no. You threw them my all grandfather's in, World War II You threw II them all gun, in Lake it. Snug. You, you buried all the evidence. No, no, that's different. Those are homemade bongs, and yeah, they got thrown into the, they <laughs> got thrown into the lake in my local town. That they have get dredged biodegraded. One day. They've biodegraded since. Oh, then. I don't. I doubt it. <laughs> really, with Jer- the Jersey uh, fauna and flora, you don't, don't think bring they w- Jersey into it? Are you going to roll another clip? Or I'm what? waiting Jeez, for you guys to shut the fuck up. Along here. <laughs> I'm trying to wrap this guy up over here. We shot. We right, shot Jerome, this. <laughs> we shot this. Uh, we shot this next thing in uh, in Staten Island, which is as close to Jersey as you can get, with while still retaining dignity. Here comes Michael C. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? 
shortest commercial ever. Speak, speaking of diabetes, did you take a whole bunch of cherry coke home with you? I didn't. I did not, and I was mad that I didn't take home the compressed air rig that made those fish jump around because those were all dead fish that were hanging from me. Those were not. They were real dead fish. Yeah, real live dead fish. Mm, I don't know about that. What do you freshly dead? You know. <laughs> You take just the take ASPCA was there. They well, no, no. You take happy. you take each one out of the water. You stun it with a bolt, and then you just leave it there. Oh my god! <laughs> it's exactly like a slaughterhouse. I don't know just how like you the, operate. Just like the mid to late nineties. What? That wasn't enough for you? I walked into a freaking freezing lake. What he? That was t- very cold. Yeah. It didn't look that it was that cold. You looked like you were doing fine. They shot like me were... from behind because my nipples ruined every shot. <laughs> uh huh. That reminds me of a story of Christopher Walken uh, that is a story that goes around film sets where he grabbed a PA after the uh, middle of a work day and said, can you take me for a ride? And uh, he goes to a lake. He gets in the lake. He strips down his clothes, gets in the lake, and he says to the PA, I'm a crocodile. I'm, I'm a crocodile. And that was it. And then he put his clothes back on and they went back to set. I didn't know that Jeremy had this talent, but I actually yeah. get... That's pretty good, man. It was uh, horrible. No, it was pretty horrible. No, you've not good, good. No, you have. A I good have been. I, I've been told that I look like Christopher Walken a little bit. Is that a good thing? I don't know. Is it circa the Deer <laughs> Hunter or s- circa Annie uh, Hall? Whichever one has. Yeah, the the most traumatic one is is probably what they're referencing. <laughs> I have uh, on my my personal Facebook page. I have a picture of Supreme Court Justice Elena Kagan, because we somewhat look alike. You As guys you can Google it when you go home, and you'll have a chuckle later. What's, Tw- twinsies. That's from me to you afterwards, the, the, okay? The twinsies. The twinsies. Uh, and I always forget that we're out here, and we're using Lyft everywhere, and they, I don't use it that much in New York, and my Uh-oh. face pops up, and it's Ellen and Kagan. So anytime I get in the car, they're like, Danny? Are you... Danny, I have to explain each time. It's just a joke. It's 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 Danny, fine. Danny, I disagree with your concurrence. It, well, you know what? It didn't. It wasn't cool because the last one that I was on uh, didn't care. Didn't make any reference to it. So it made it feel like I did look like Elena Kagan, and that that's what hurt the most. Oh, so you're the you're the so guy. It's who, like if, if someone says gonna, something, I'm kind of like, oh yeah, that's fine. I'm like, thank you, God. You're you gonna get a fake ID really that me. says you're 76 years old and be like, you're right. like yeah. you don't look 76. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> this is a compliment fishing ID picture that you have. For I'll Ellen, take it. Yeah. For one of our most distinguished Supreme Court justices that we have right now. That's true. Yes. Who, Speaking of who uh, went to my high school, okay, and her brother taught me history, and I first revisionist th- history was it? Uh, this guy was ter- uh. this guy was terrible, but I think the first time I dropped acid in high school, go bring it back there in huh? class was. I had his I had his class fifth or sixth period, so I I definitely dropped Are that shit at lunch. You having a flashback right now? I know, you're looking I'm just down at the floor. I'm just remembering like, that I dropped I that shit at lunch, that, so man. I definitely uh, the colors, man. Not only that, just like the gunfire was everywhere. You know, you had to stay low. <laughs> um, yeah, I, t- I I quickly left his class as it was the second time <laughs> I was taking it. Speaking of LSD, uh, let's take a look at another clip. Uh, there's, <laughs> no, there's no connection there. I'm sorry. Speaking of what? <laughs> Make no mistake, yeah. Jackson is the last action hero. It's a sequel. Jack, it's Benedict and his yeah. wire. <laughs> okay, Ripper, let's bring down the house. I'd say it's more of a Whack. motif. Whack! <laughs> Big mistake. What Hang is that? On, what Danny? is that? We go up, he comes down. Ah. Mm. Now you're in the doghouse. Last Action Hero Police Station. You put it together. Figure sold separately. New from Mattel. That is wow. detailed. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Thank you. Didn't, didn't get the Last Action Hero, but got two Mattel commercials out of it. Did the anybody? That was my that? only real sequel. That's my only real true sequel moment. I wasn't. You weren't in Mighty Ducks 2. No, but I. Uh, you know what's unfortunate? My apartment is D2 that I live in in New York. So every day, every day I go home, I'm reminded of the movie that I wasn't in. So that's, you know, there's always, that's something. There's always Grand Theft Auto 6, right? Yeah, if well, it, maybe. If it happens. I'm contractually obligated not to make any uh, jokes or uh, complaints. But you, or can do, but you can do a Christopher Walken impression. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely I got it, don't worry. 
not. Look at your stupid head right there. <laughs> 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 speaking of speaking stupid of freeze heads. frames, I've been I've been in worse freeze frames. It's true. For All the right, le- here we go. Here's hit the, the button. Hit the button, Jeremy. Here's the last video from Michael C. Hello, Stuart. So you're Abigail's special friend from the office. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Okay, Stuart. Stuart. What are your plans for the future? Well, I wouldn't mind living here. No, what's your passion, Stuart? I like to trade online. You ever heard of Ameritrade? I'm a stockbroker, son. Dad, he only pays $8 a trade. Give a kid a computer and he thinks he can beat the market. I don't want to beat the market. I want to grab it, sock it in the gut a couple times, turn it upside down, hold it by the pants, shake them out to all those pockets of the heart, spare change. Let's see. Ameritrade, <laughs> calm down. Hit stop already. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, they, did they pay you extra to show your tattoo? No, no is that a thing? <laughs> Typically they have to pay you to, to, what do you call it, to cover the tattoo, don't they? Yeah. Or, uh, I don't know. I don't have any tattoos. Is that a speedo? Or Sorry, boxing? guys. No. That speedo? was that was neither. But uh, I kept I kept the clothes from that. I kept the, I kept that outfit from that commercial. I bet you. Don't rub it in. I didn't keep the clothes from my commercials. Okay, it, get, it gets better than that. Uh, I wore the clothes. I was on the soccer team at, at college, and I, I wore the clothes underneath my uniform one day when we when we played. I think it was the. I want to say I'm not having Use a flashback. Your brain power, I'm, not having Michael. A, I'm not having an LSD flashback. I think it was the Bard game, but it could have been against Cooper Union. But anyway, uh, I was wearing that outfit underneath my. No, not that outfit. Were you trying to sell some? I was Ameritrade wearing the bathing stocks? suit and and uh, an American flag shirt underneath my jersey and shorts. My for the purpose of exposing the, that that uh, underwear. I got red carded that game and managed to take off all my clothes and run off the field. <laughs> <laughs> Michael C. Marone, everybody. <laughs> huh? That's when right. Let's have a big round of applause for their I scored, scored one goal in college and got one red card, so I think we're even. I think we're even. Well, That's batting a thousand, right? That's how that works? <laughs> I feel like we should uh, we should have the red card uh, system in our podcast. I have. Ooh, this is a billion dollar idea, actually, I've had. Is, uh, oh. I'm going to write a. It's been a while. For the listener, I guess I'm enjoining all your asses. If you know what enjoining means, uh, are you a lo- are you a lawyer? <laughs> That's crickets. That's crickets. Um, I was just gonna carry around uh, red red cards and yellow cards all the time just to grade people on uh, on various moves in online. I know people. No, not online. I know, I know. <laughs> in real life. I have I have a friend that has like a stack of shut the fuck up cards that he will like go up and just like put on the table and they have to flip it over and just say shut the fuck up on it. What what table is he just like go to coffee well, house? No, Does like he go he's to coffee shops around? Someone's being the... too loud. Like it's aggressive. It's an aggressive move, but goddamn, he's got balls. Is it is That's... it as aggressive as dipping your fingers in someone's water and going, hey, shut the fuck up? No. <laughs> No, I don't think <laughs> I don't think so. But this takes pre-planning, like say putting on some booty shorts yeah, and, ama- put, and an American flag shirt. You have to put the shut the fuck up cards in your, in your pocket, pocket before you out. go out and get. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So it takes pre-planning. You got it. Like you know you're going to get red carded that night. I mean, that's just, it's a similar idea. Uh, yeah. Jeremy, can we move this along again? Let's give them a big round of applause <laughs> for their work. <laughs> we don't their have videos. to. We really don't have to. It was not. It was nothing. Honestly, oh. thank you. Uh, let's get some guests up here. Uh, you may know him from, he's the host a, a, of the Comedy Button Podcast, a, a, another podcast that's very great. Uh, his name is Brian Altano. Let's come on up. Welcome. Also, we have uh, an actor. Uh, he played Endless Mike on this little show called The Adventures of Pete and Pete. Rick Gomez, ladies and gentlemen. Just where we want him right. on the end. Uh, All right. Jeremy, yeah. welcome, Rick. Oh, well, Hi, Brian. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for having me. Jeremy, Plus. Jeremy, we just went from outnumbering Danny, Ohio and New York, to being oh. outnumbered by the Full House of Jerseys over here. One, full two, House was a different show. One, two, three. It was a different <laughs> show. One, two, three New Jerseys. Uh, three of a kind, yeah. yeah. Danny, thank you for New Jerseys. for selling me all those shitty toys back in the day. Yeah, I'm sorry. Did you get, did you have the last Yes, action? I didn't realize that was you. Like, hey, man. What I didn't have was like what every, every kid in those commercials has, which is apparently like 
either a full backyard with like a war going on or <laughs> like a like top floor 90s smoky New York yeah. City apartment. Wow. I mean, that yeah. seems yeah. to be well, a lot of those were shot in those places. Exposed yeah. brick. For sure. Just I like did the, a lot the of Lego kid. commercials like that. Yep. Exactly like that. <laughs> the smoke machines were great, mm-hmm. though. God. Used to just hover over those at the end of the day. It had a very interesting smell to it. As a kid, I was like, I kind of like that smell. Mm. You had a. I don't uh, know if that had any effect on me further in life. Particularly machinist vibe in your second spot. (laughs) Oh gosh. Christian Bale kind of. (laughs) I was. I was losing. Yeah, I was losing. I thought maybe you killed a kid and. (laughs) Something inside me died. Something inside me died that year. Yeah. Are you, oh, you're talking about his his second one. No, I'm no, talking about the American one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, no. With your not, mutton chops. No, not, the not mutton him, chops. Not looks him like imprisoning maybe had Arnold a, in the a jail. Stalk of celery for a Who week. Who doesn't want to imprison Arnold in the, in something? I had, just, been, I had been. I had been. Someone needs to tell him to shut the fuck up. I had been in college. Shut the fuck up. Uh, I was probably still flashing back to Elena Kagan's brother, Mr. Yeah. Kagan. Mr. Kagan. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't neutrifying myself enough in college, no, so I, I was a skinny say, bone. I was a skinny yeah, bone. Did skinny, did, yeah. did the fish commercial have a script? <laughs> <laughs> it's like those old timey. Uh, you see, like it's like a split screen in the old ad script where right. it's like video, audio, and uh, yeah, and it didn't have to have any words whatsoever, but it, it had description. <laughs> it was like a James Joyce book. Like you don't really get to the. <laughs> You don't get to the dialogue. You could get you could go five commercials before you got to the dialogue. Well, because that was sort of like the the whole ideology of like old Nickelodeon was like I was a kid watching you guys and uh, I would turn on the TV and it would just be like after these messages and there'd just be like a kid's head turned into a fish tank and he'd throw up and they'd be like that's it Nickelodeon. Random. Yeah, he'd yes. just yeah. throw yeah. yeah. fucking day. Nickelodeon. Yeah. yeah. And then you'd go to school and you'd be like I think I'm crazy. Like should I get Ritalin or something? <laughs> this like, is yeah. so cool, but yeah, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> You're like I want to. I want to work there. You guys shot a uh, not you guys Nickelodeon, your your whole Gestapo. They, they run it. We shot. shot a, you shot a commercial. That was, yeah. I know that's a weird way to stop a, a sentence. A you guys ca- shot. Stop a California <laughs> condor. You shot a commercial at my middle school, which was fucking insane because they built this small living room, where uh, this kid was playing in this dark. He's playing video games in a small room, which is what I do for a living now. And the walls collapsed, and he was on the basketball court. And all these kids were playing basketball. And they're like, yeah, fuck video games. Come outside and play basketball. And I was like, Nickelodeon? Like, you're why I'm inside all day. You (laughs) you betrayed me. (laughs) How could you? Traitors. Hey, that's, well, they they figured out that that was happening. So they had to fix that. And so they developed the big help. (laughs) That's when they showed people doing things outside. It was Nickelodeon. It was helping people. It was a community service. It was a community service initiative. I'm not crazy, right? No, it's, it's. I you planted trees with Mariah Carey. <laughs> did you really? I sure did up in Harlem. I, sure I, I, did. Did I don't you really? know. I don't know her. I did. It was it was me, Mariah Carey, and Steve Burns from Blues. Clues. I don't. I don't know her. Wow. Yeah. He's a musician now. He he is a musician. He's a rocker. Where Always does, been one. Where does he live? I don't know. Yeah, that's the dust mines. He should be here. I'm looking for the stripes. Steve Burns, everybody. Yeah. There, he is. there is nobody here wearing stripes. That's so weird. Did you, wait, you really, you planted trees with Mariah Carey? I did. Yeah, for the big help. That's what I'm saying. I didn't know that. That's how they, that's how they got away with saying, hey, kids, sit in front of the boob tube for eight hours a day. But you know what? You should also give One back. One day a year. Just give back a little One bit. One day a year. Do I feel like, you know, you can't hang out with Mariah Carey, <laughs> but you can go to your local, you know, post office and, and fix the flowers out front that the they're stomping you on must have been pissed just, off at their jobs. Stop, just stop no, you must have been like the easiest dude to prank call in the 90s. Yeah. Like people would be like, hey, uh, uh, you want to go on a helicopter with Steve Buscemi? Like, again? Okay. <laughs> oh, it's like, like a word generator. <laughs> he's, he's too jaded. He's too <laughs> jaded at this point. Uh. Like, if anyone, anyone called me, like, you want to go plant trees with Mariah Carey, I'd be like, all right, someone's fucking with me. Yeah. This is a prank. Yeah. You're well, a, it, all the information came guy. to my yeah. mom. So I didn't know that. that doesn't mean that I plant trees with Mariah Carey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, not every Jersey guy. That's nobody's not, casting know. aspersions, Rick. I'm no. just saying. Why do you think it's the Garden States? Mariah oh, Carey crap, comes out. You just out. came out of your mom and you're in New Jersey. <laughs> Meet Mariah Carey in this fucking palm tree. Something like that. <laughs> New Jersey, where every day is Arbor Day. Exactly. <laughs> the Garden State for a exactly. fucking reason. That's it. Um, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> there was there wasn't he was, one. He was oh. just trying to get you involved, I guess. Yeah, mission 
accomplished? You mission accomplished. <laughs> um, Famous George no, W. Bush yeah, quote. No, yeah, from Jersey, though. Where in New Jersey are you from? Northern New Jersey, Bergen County. Like, I was neighbors with this guy, but yeah. we, wouldn't, we didn't hang out because I wasn't on a TV show. Right. Was it a right. social? Hey, I went to public school. Thank so, you very much. Uh, what does that have okay. to do with it? means that I wasn't treated like that. I was, in, was I was the new kid in fifth grade. Okay. They treated me like shit. Let me tell you something, new kid. Do you know who the president... Do it's know, true. Do you know who I the president is? I had to bring them onto the set of Pete and Pete to get friends because we shot in Jersey. So it was oh, like, he's laying his heart I'm the new bare kid. Now. You suck. Hey, you want to come on my TV show? Uh, you're We're friends. Cool. <laughs> Man, yeah, we all had... We both had hardships growing up then. I, I wasn't rich. Me and you and you, you had a TV friends. show, so yeah. that was we were basically one and the same. It was thing tough is, lives we had. The, the, you know, twenty years ago, cable TV wasn't paying out the big bucks. <laughs> well, you guys are filming. So, you're filming you know, in New Jersey, right? It, it would have been. Yeah, yeah, we filmed yeah. in New Jersey. Yeah, I saved on travel costs. Yeah, Thank you, Brian. I would have had friends. <laughs> That's, That's true. true. I would have had friends if we filmed in New York, but yeah. he got all the friends because we filmed in New Jersey. Dan. Yeah. Well, I lived in New Jersey. So the what? So what? We're in San Francisco now. We're talking about regional shit. Let's That's go. That's right. Do you know what you guys? Do you want to talk about San Francisco? We can do that. Uh, no, I mean, you know, we don't have to. Everyone loves it here. That's why they they're here for like four years and then they leave. <laughs> you guys have a four year plan? Yeah. Is, is that it's, true? Is that a San Francisco thing? Yeah. Burn. Four years and you burn out. Buffalo. Buffalo. <laughs> well, you know, it's a it's it's great that you got out of Buffalo. <laughs> My grandmother's from Buffalo, and she's dead, so she's listening right now, being like, you're making fun of Buffalo? Dead you're people don't listen nightmares. to podcasts. Live okay. podcast, though, Jeremy. Mm-hmm. Nope. It's a live podcast. Why did you yes. make it sound like she's dead in Buffalo? <laughs> well, because she's probably stuck there. She loves it's it a so sequ- much. It's a sequel. <laughs> she loved it so much, she moved to New Jersey, and then when she died, she's like, I'm going back to haunt Buffalo. Like, she's like, there's 14 feet of snow, and I'm a ghost. I can't walk through it. This is impossible. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, honestly, last time I was in Buffalo, weird, weird enough that... Uh, my grandmother had this like radio that was in their kitchen and I have it in my parents house in New Jersey and we were in Buffalo for a wedding and I was walking down the street and there was like a stoop sale and the exact same like 1950s like Sony radio was on the ground for free and I took a picture of it sent it to my dad and I was like I'm not taking it but I think (laughs) you should know that it was there so that's what I'm saying my grandma she's stuck in Buffalo fucking around (laughs) There's worse places to Anywho. be stuck. Yeah, definitely. Like purgatory, <laughs> probably. Yeah, oh. that's, the, that's worse. Because oh. you don't know if it's good or bad. Mm-hmm. Was she Anywho. good? Was she a good woman? <laughs> Jeremy, fact check. Is, is, is purgatory, purgatory good, good or bad? Or bad? Uh, I think checking. it just is. Jeremy, First fact check of Jeremy, the night. Jeremy, I really need a live... It just is. Need a live uh-huh. fact check. You know, it's probably, it's probably sitting like... Sitting here in limbo. You could say limbo sounds a little it's bit... Just, it just exists. ...more positive. Than purgatory. Purgatory does sound bad. But you say you're in limbo, you're like, mm-hmm. ah, I'm just kind of a. I think it's like it's like being at IKEA or something like that, where you're like, well, me and my wife are fighting, but there's the hot dogs are a dollar fifty. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> Definitely. We get to do puzzles when we get home. Like oh. this, it's, this sound. This sounds a lot like this, the thirty cycle. You know, like purgatory is a, is a cleanse of some type. <laughs> What kind of cleanse? It's okay, purgatory. Do oh, I have to spell it out for you? Great. Uh, Just blew my billion dollar idea. Here we are in San Francisco, the land of startups. That's a very New Jersey way of saying purgatory. Purgatory. <laughs> the, purgatory. Uh, don't don't fuck around at school. You can end up in purgatory. <laughs> <laughs> and Brian, we're getting in the car. It's a long car ride. You're gonna make before you leave? <laughs> make sure you make. If you don't make before you leave, I'm not stopping. A group of <laughs> of Jersey friends no, no, you got never together. Heard of oh fuck, Come on. dude! Don't get me started. Come on, you got a. There's a lot. How many people asked you if you made before you left? In your uh, life, many people have asked me if I've made. <laughs> I often have a an inner uh, monologue running about whether or not I've made. But I'm also getting older. Mm-hmm. So, so but for the boy, but for the but for the little. My little guys? Yeah. Well, they're 14 and 12 now, Michael. Did you have to remind them about making? Quick with the making? (laughs) Did you have to Let's make with the making! (laughs) No, I didn't. We didn't talk too much about making. I was an absentee (laughs) father. Oh, okay. That's that's bold to just come to say that. Well, you got to pay the bills. Hey, you know, guy. (laughs) You've heard of him, haven't you? He's Rick Gomez. That's true. Absentee dad. I heard I show up and they're 14 and I go, what in the fuck? (laughs) Did you make with the. And then they. Smoke the cigarette, they put it out, and go fuck you. <laughs> um, <laughs> Rick, oh, this Rick. went well. They should be out of the house soon. Uh, it's a good life. Purgatory. 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 No, Purgatory. it's not true at all. <laughs> no. 
I'm very happy. I, I, I just, can we talk about the bio that you sent to SF Sketchfest for we a second, please? can do that. Mm -hmm. Just because I can't tell, you, can, you can't tell if he's kidding or not, but I'd like to think that you are serious can about that bio. Can you read some of it out loud? Uh, no, no, no. Do we have the yeah, bio? We can, we can yeah, we can read that Where's my yeah. fact check, Here's Jeremy. I just want to say really well, quick, you, you can kind of tell from the commercials, I think, there's like a, a young Philip Seymour Hoffman thing going on. <laughs> with me? Yeah. Oh, God. Well, like, with the Arnold? I'd like, 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 like to take with the that Arnold's, as a compliment. With, with the, the Arnold, Arnold action. you got to take it. He's one of the greatest of our generation, no, 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 man. I th uh, I'm thinking about uh, something about Polly or whatever that when he was the... Uh, Oh, forget it. Never mind. I went to a bad <laughs> place. Reach I went to legend. a bad place, I guess. And then the kid it reminded me of the movie he did with Tom Hanks with, with, where Tom's the senator, the Texas senator or something. He's like, I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> Wilson! And then, and then, no. No, one. no, no. Charlie no. Wilson's war. like, I don't know what the hell. Charlie Wilson's war. Charlie Wilson's war. Charlie Wilson's yeah, war. Right, right, right. And, but you know what I'm saying? The little, the other kid was like Hanks and Seymour Hop, Philip Seymour Hoppins crushing Hanks in that movie. That's what you were doing. This is good. Kid. This is like the number one. Can we guess the Philip Seymour Hoffman movie podcast? So. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, you know it'll be new on Audible. If you uh, look behind you, that's the uh, the. Uh, Rick Gomez has the Sento. pleasure of portraying yeah. endless Mike Hellstrom on the iconic Nickelodeon series, The Adventures of Pete and Pete. We work side all by together. side with his hero, Danny Tamborelli. I did not know that. Over yeah. the last few decades, he continued to work on television and film. Some bullshit. Band of Brothers, Shin City, Justified. But none of those projects starred Danny. Yeah, true. It all fell short. Of, of his, his high water mark. <laughs> he, he starts a new ABC <laughs> series, The Crossing, which premieres April, April 2nd, 2nd at 10, 10 p.m. But, but again, again no, no Danny. Danny. So, so not, not really worth talking, talking about. about. Wow. <laughs> uh, I, but again, I this really is do. An honor. I really do think that that's that's pretty much that's pretty much all there. It's all true. Okay. I'm, and it's when I was trying true. to say about the Philip Seymour oh, Hoffman oh, oh, thing, hold on, hold on. The one comment is from. No, no, no. This is Danny's mom. Danny's mom. Danny's mom. <laughs> Danny's mom. Danny's mom. Danny's mom. I, the, one, the one response is from what Danny's mom. Say? What did she say? Who says, "quote Danny, Danny is such in such, such good, good company. company. Best, Best and, and funniest, funniest bio ever. ever." So in she just wants she just wants to participate. Yeah, well. <laughs> <She just laughs> But it oh, is true, Sally. man. Is that your that's, that's your mom's classic name? Sally. Sally. Sally Kelly Tamborelli? Yeah, her hair is red and her feet are smelly. So what? <laughs> whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, whoa. What are we doing? Wait, what was her name? Hey, hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. You didn't have you know, from from muscles. Muscles. From Can you do a side by side with Dan Tamborelli? Uh, Go do side one? by no, side. No, we gotta one. do side by side. <laughs> we gotta get a side by side. It's time for a new segment we like to call <laughs> Side Wait by Side second. with Supreme Court Justice Ellen that's Kagan. Not, that's not Danny? Then my bio's all wrong. I thought I was talking about Kagan. There we go. Let's get a big smile. I was Kagan all the way. <laughs> it's right. it's there. You know she's a Met fan, and that's the most important part. Go she's, Mets! She's a Mets fan. I love Brooklyn. <laughs> you truly you missed your calling as. Thank a, you. No, as, I'm just waiting for for her to do something. As she an does appellate. something, I'm in. Oh, be on all the late so night, mad at the ruling. All the late night talk Kagan's shows. mad at the ruling. That's it. I keep. <laughs> Kagan disagrees with Kagan the graffiti. Kagan disagrees. I, I want to find out where she lives and just start rummaging through her trash to oh see if God, I can find great. something. It, pro something probably Washington. Probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, I know. So just get all the garbage in Washington, and you'll right. and you'll get hers. Garbage in Washington. Yes. You go through all the garbage in Washington. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She didn't pay her taxes. It'll be great when the cops pull up and they're like, I think it's her going through her own garbage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just let well, her be. No problem. I'll just She's wear a black a... robe. It'll be just fine. She's allowed to look at her own garbage. That's I her... see no violation of the law. Yeah. Here, oh, carry lady, on. Kagan's oh. lost it. <laughs> That's her recycling Hi, outfit. Officer, I'm fine. Just look at the... I lost something in the garbage. Lost the ruling in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go to bed and wake up early and go to the Supreme Court, my job. <laughs> Where I'm one uh, of several judges. It's my turn to buy the coffee for the rest of the court. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, a Cinnabon. <laughs> anyway, I agree with most of her rulings. Uh, oh, not all of them. I'm glad that you do. Not all of them. I'm oh. glad that you do. Old Lady Kagan, she better make with the... <laughs> Making. Yeah, Elena, Ke <laughs> Elena Kagan probably got that a couple times. Elena! 
God, did you make before we left? It's a long time. Did you time. make before the court? Grew up in Queens. Grew up, yeah, in, grew Queens. up in Queens. Yeah, Definitely probably got heard that. the word make. Once you point. get your robe on, it's going to be hard to make. <laughs> so hey, once, <laughs> once you are invested. <laughs> yeah. Or easier. Once you receive investiture. Right. Great. Oh do you want to do you want to go back to pur- uh, purgatory? Purgatory. No, purgatory. No, I don't want to go back to purgatory. Because you when I search for is pur- purgatory it's bad. It's neither good nor bad. The first one is nine truths about purgatory. Uh, okay. We don't okay. have that much time. Can we just get the top yeah, three? Come on, yeah. Can we get the top three truths? Well, the first one is that it exists. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Spoiler <laughs> shake alert. Around. Oh God. Any number star one. any Star Wars fans? <laughs> go outside. Uh, number Sec- one, a theory. These are gonna this That's point. how they start their list. It's a spoiler alert. Some, number two, saying. purgatory isn't merely a punishment. Okay. Well, they got it's a lot of information. A way of life. <laughs> 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 number three, the suffering endured by souls in purgatory isn't physical pain. Oh. Oh shit, that's worse. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah. It's mental torment. Number that four. Dante the... was full crap. No, no, no yeah. we're done. We're done. We just did our we just did our top three. <laughs> Ooh, right, baby, top three. do you know what's worse? No. Pur- purgatory is a place on earth. It's true. Yeah. It's is that a poison do you know what that's worth? <laughs> Tell me. Thank you. Thank Tell you me. very much. I'll be here all night. <laughs> <laughs> what is that worth? Oh purgatory. Uh, ooh, purgatory is a place, place on, on earth. earth. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thanks. Wow, I can't. I'm glad people in the audience got it before you did up on stage, Mike. Wait, I shit you not. Number nine is purgatory is like spiritual summer school. Oh, <laughs> it's like it's like rumspringa for the soul. Spiritual summer school. It's like rumspringa for the unencumbered soul <laughs> who needs hey, to. Uh, do hey, Chris, can you write a purgatory like a list article for me by tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. when? Uh, uh, like six minutes from now? Yeah, sure. <laughs> fuck. Yeah. Okay, I got it. You just did it. Can I just yeah, make it? Is that it was a, a BuzzFeed article. Seventeen things you didn't know about it's purgatory. A li- it's a listicle. It's actually a listicle. <laughs> yep. Why did I click it? <laughs> It's now bait. my computer's running slow. It's, it's effect- heating up. Effective the bait. fan has gone on again. Why is that happening? Uh, <laughs> it's kind of like, is it the penalty box for your soul if, you're, if your soul has been playing hockey? If you're Canadian, yeah. Is it a, ma- a five-minute major for your soul? I don't know. Dan? I'm not. I'm not hockey kidding. guy? I'm not putting purgatory and hockey in the same thing. I can't do that. <laughs> Because uh, I like I like hockey too much. Ooh, we're gonna have to tear up a few index cards for the next podcast. Then shit. We do have a hockey team in New Jersey called the Devils. Yeah, we do. Yeah, which is, there you go. That was very unsettling. Like growing up, going to those games, and a, a fucking devil would come out, and just he's like, "Ah, I'm the devil. Welcome to hockey," and he'd scream. Yeah, isn't it's it rough. the Jersey? That's a great entrance into hockey. Are you yeah. kidding me? It's That's amazing. A beautiful yeah. thing. Well, because their 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 mascot before that was a guy called the Puck. Who was just a puck? It was just a guy. It was just like, oh, we have again five minutes to come up hit, with something. Hit me, yeah. Up. And they're like, get get the puck out of here. Let's get <laughs> literal Satan. Let's get Lucifer. Yeah. To get these kids I hyped. think that's okay. That's great. I have no problem with it. What? I'm just putting it out there. If any of you guys know about that, no, I no, no, and that's fine with me. The, the, I was all about the New Jersey Devils. So you guys want to see like a Satan-themed hockey team go to New Jersey? That's a great. <laughs> it's a good night with the kids. <laughs> If you want to see a good betting hockey team, you go to Las Vegas. Yeah, it's true. They're very good. You're a gambler. No, oh, they are. They are gamblers. In Vegas? Are they called the gamblers? No, they're called the Knights. Uh, the Golden Knights. If so gold is in there, and you gamble with gold. It's a retro reference. Back in the day, you know, you'd gamble with gold. <laughs> People around here knew about that a lot, you know, San Francisco and the gold rush and such. Do you Don't think get Shanghai out here? Do you think? <laughs> ah, yeah, I know everything there is about San Francisco. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Do you think they bet against themselves or on themselves each day? No, you can't Pete Rose yourself anymore in you any sort of they have rules? experience. They have rules now. <laughs> ah. uh. No, I will say, if you're gambling on yourself to win, I don't think there's anything wrong with Nothing that. Nothing wrong with it. Poor Pete Rose. Uh, you, you should yeah. always be betting on yourself. Yeah, you got, it's, it's confidence, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Stack the odds in, in your favor. That's or, right. Or, or against your favor. Or, yeah, or, who, or whoever you're fighting. So you're I'm going to be uh, running some penny slots later if anybody's involved. Penny so slots? Yeah, yeah, penny slots, yeah. Sounds like a There's Bergen. a lot of money in the penny slots. Sounds like you know? a Bergen pennies County in the thing. Penny slots. <laughs> yeah, there are pennies in the penny slot, but you get a bucket big enough and you're walking yeah, out with 20 yeah, bucks. So what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have a permanently lowered shoulder now, but <laughs> I'm rich. Well, penny rich. 
Thank you. Don't have encourage you, him. Don't <laughs> encourage him. Have you been with a penny joke? Joke. Have you been uh, ever? Have you been forced to pay any fines and then paid them in penny pennies? Fines? In a Did petty you say penny fines. <laughs> have you been forced <laughs> to pay any fines and pay them in a petty way with pennies? No. You know. No, have you done that? Have you gone up like been like I got a three hundred dollars no, speeding no, ticket? I'm paying town. you in pennies. No, in you this can't town, do that. you uh, can't do that. Apple sued Samsung, and Samsung paid them with dump trucks that's full a rumor. of pennies. Full of really? That's Is a that rumor? true? Anybody that's know a, if that's, that's true? Can we get it? Can fact we? check. You know it's no, not a rumor. Not second, true. Fact check. Second fact check. I think it's a rumor. Don't blow Chris, it. Chris Jeremy. walking in the crocodile story. That's oh not great. A rumor. Here well, it comes. That's true. That's true. Totally true. Yeah, because the Why, guy who you, fact checks you told us. So <laughs> 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 he's the backstop. Yeah, but there's tons of Christopher Walken stories. No, they did not try to pay in nickels. Like according to the the Guardian dot you you the Guardian dot com. No, Samsung did not try to pay Apple its one billion dollar fine. I thought pennies. I thought pennies. <laughs> a billion dollars in pennies? That's a shit. lot of pennies. That sucks. That's go like on, a billion pennies. Go on. There aren't They're that many a nickels in circulation. You pay someone twenty five thousand a year to just it's put this, it all together. This is another. This is another <laughs> listicle, and uh, li- items two through five are just Mike Morona is a dumb, credible <laughs> fool. <laughs> I can get behind that. <laughs> Thanks for defending my honor, fake brother. Aww. Aww. Fake brothers are supposed to stand up for each other. Oh man. Okay. Well, I, r- I really see the Hudson Hudson River coming between us. <laughs> oh, that's the New York Jersey thing. Yeah, I the divide. I got that. I mean, you can't. It's it's it's, tr- it's true. But what's funny is that you know there is New York that's on our side of the Hudson River. So he's yeah, just, you can have his it. Geography's dumb too. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what else is dumb? I mean, li- I don't want to have to go and. Uh, no, uh, it's an hour and a half show. I have, show. A, we I have, a, I have a list, but no, I don't, we can cover I don't everything get that's dumb. We no. have a long show, and these no. people aren't going anywhere. I'll get Parmesan were, fries for everybody. Fried pickles? <laughs> oh, who wants fried pickles? Yeah. Come on. Wow. I want to no, hear it. I don't want, I don't no, want no, to No, no, I want to hear it. Well, you're not wearing them today, but when he wears cac- uh, uh, corduroys, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't solid. like it. I, I don't like worn it. And when solid. he wears corduroys, I don't solid. like it. I haven't you know? worn corduroys since like college. I don't believe you. I've I've I've, I've, heard, I've heard you walk. Those they're they're are kind of corduroys. First of all, these are the only corduroys I own. Second of all, <laughs> well, they're not the kind that I. You know, I'm talking about the thick corduroy. The thick right, corduroy. Right. You know? the wide whales. The, whales. the, wide, the wide, wide whales. The wide whales. Wide whales. Come on, man. I seen it on the horizon. The wide whale. And what are you gonna? I mean, I don't want to get into it. You know. Yeah. You how do don't. how do they make you feel the the pants? I don't really like his I don't really like his sideburns either when I oh, come shit. in. You know, I, <laughs> there's lots I'm just of going. I'm just Wait, going straight. My now my now sideburns or my then sideburns? No, no, the no, ones back the, then. no. The ones back then are cool. These Wait, are really? just yeah. these yeah. are just a shame. Yeah, these are just a sham. Of, it's yeah, it's a sham the, of a the shell of a man. <laughs> wow. We're really right. laying it bare. Was there truth serum in that gummy that you had before the? No, I didn't have any gummies before anything. Oh. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want from me? The truth, and I'm getting more the of it truth than is I bargained I didn't for. The truth is, you ate half a gummy. I didn't I, eat shit. I'm getting more of the truth I than I bargained play, for. I don't play the edible game, really. Okay, yeah. What did you the, buy all those masks for? On then? the way, on the way out here, I did. I ate half of a, a cookie, and okay. I didn't realize how strong it was. And I don't usually eat edibles, and I don't know why I did it, but I did it, and. I got very, very stoned, and I was, I was getting very high going through security, and I didn't like that. <laughs> and I don't usually do that, and I was kind of like, oh, man, like, I really don't want... Th-. And I was taking off my shoes, and I was putting everything on the, you know, in, in the bin, and I'm going to take my belt off, and I'm not paying attention, and apparently the woman was like, you don't have to take your belt off, sir. Your belt, your belt, your belt, your belt, sir. Your belt, sir. You can leave belt. Your belt. Knights in white satin. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. And then, Dude. and I was like, you know, eighty percent with the belt no. off like this. No. And I look He's up and she's like, a lawnmower. Can't you just put, yeah, but can't you just put it up there now? Just put it up there. Does it matter? Like, Does it hurt I, anybody? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't have anything. Put it back. I don't on. have anything else. Yeah. She just looked at me. She's like, I told you. And that was it. I don't think so I then did. I was like, you know what? I'm not. Four uh, hours later, you landed. No. Then I get through. Guess what's on the other side? Shake Shack. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what happens when yeah. you're stoned? You eat the Shake Shack. Yeah. 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 Wow. It does. Yeah. I don't think anyone's ever had it. Then you need a new goddamn like belt. Like an edible. And you go through the whole fucking thing again. That's yeah, right. Yeah, you got to do it all over again. That's right. Sir, a belt. Sir, a belt. Sir, a belt. <laughs> you're like, God. What, what am I doing? I got to stop with the edibles. You're on I mean, the at least he was being, I got to stop with these edibles, man. That's the that's the tagline at Shake Shack now. You don't need to take off your belt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> leave your belt on. <laughs> Please Shake do not Shack. remove your shoes. <laughs> Sweet belt. <laughs> I don't think anyone has ever taken an edible and been like, oh, that is the perfect amount of high. Yeah. <laughs> no, I you're would, so right, dude. I would dude. have to agree. You are so right. I would have to agree with you. I have the worst That's story exactly about it. A pooping nuggets that big <laughs> in Tahoe. I'm sorry, guys. I thought we were just being Rick, for real. Yeah, with no, each you other. can go. Keep I going. I thought we were just being for real with each other. And, and like, you get constipated up in the altitude, right? So uh-huh. I was up in Tahoe, and I'm, I'm with my wife, and, I'm in, and we're in an old cabin, her family cabin. And this podcast doesn't really play, right? No, it's just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, no. So, this I is just great. And so, great. And so we do the, we're doing a thing, and I have, a, 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 like, a, like, a coal. It's like you could fuel the Starship Enterprise with these nuggets <laughs> that are coming out of my ass. And it's one at a time, but I have to each time go. I wasn't on edibles. No, I was. <laughs> <laughs> Forget it. Uh, no, but I was I was high as a kite, and I I ate too late. Everybody else was like, "We had it already. Where were you?" And I'm like, "Oh God, do it now!" But it was already like three hours yeah. in. Every uh, sound asleep. They're like, the "What catch a up. great day, everybody!" And I was like, "Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go poop." For nine hours. <laughs> <laughs> See everybody later. <laughs> He laid a he laid a pyramid in the in the toilet bowl, a, a perfect fire stack. <laughs> oh God! A, a brick, that sounds like a nightmare. It was a fucking nightmare, Good dude. Good Lord! It was a nightmare. Yeah. That's why I will never do edibles after tonight. <laughs> <laughs> never, ever. I talked about this before, but the last time I did an edible, uh, my own nipple scared me. Oh, <laughs> well, we're back to nipples. That's yeah, weird. yeah. We've circled back to nipples. And yep. I haven't, haven't done them since. And circled around them repeatedly. You, were you staring at them yes. the whole lot? Caress, well, caressed no, caressed no. around. I think I forgot for a moment that I had them. Yeah. 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 Oh, and, yeah. And like that's the type of thing. Like, you know, I'm just eating and there's food on me and I'm like, oh, I should get that food. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. It was, a, it was a nipple. Right. It was my nipple. Just your nipple. I, yeah. think, I think the point is that you were eating pepperonis at the time. Uh, yeah. Good point. Good point. Wow. Yeah, good point. Wow. Anatomically correct, though. Okay, Danny. <laughs> oh, man. You're eating tofurkey pepperoni. <laughs> yeah. My nipples look like tofurkey pepperoni. The little I mini think, peps. You know what? That yeah, is right. something that I would not put past you, as we did do the podcast shirtless recently. M- uh, yeah, we did. And, How did uh, that go? Uh, it was, it was uh, great. Listen to, you got to listen to the podcast. Yeah. Oh, right. I, didn't, I didn't like it. Danny's you didn't the, like it? I didn't like it. It was like shirts and skins in gym class. You know, yeah, uh, but it was all skins. You know, there no, were no shirts. Weird. It was just <laughs> no, there's no winner or loser with that There's no game. winner or loser. No, no, no. you're all just sitting uh, in it. Yeah. It was hot, though. That was why. I was okay. going to say, here in San Francisco, you got all LEDs. You're not sweating nearly as much, Dan. No, I this know. This could be the move for you. Okay. It's temperate. Okay. Yes. It's we're temperate. It. It's Let's cool. Uh huh. Uh huh. Not uh-huh. too hot during the day. Not too cold at night. No, it's fine. Jersey skins, if this is man. Your, if this Jersey is your winter, right I'm now. ready for it. If this is your winter, I'm fine with it. Oh God, it's Jersey a little rainy skin. and some leaves fell. <laughs> Cripes. Uh, oh, it's a hard I'm gonna winter. wait. I'll wait till the spring to clean That's it a up. Hard winter, man. Like it's not that it's bad, hard guys. It's not that bad. You don't. Com- you don't compost <laughs> outside all the time every day. No. No. Always. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> That's, That's what we're doing in New winter. York is, is outdoor uh, composting constantly. That's yeah. it. We that got was, that was it right there. It was a beautiful, just a beautiful moment of silence. Yeah. For yeah. Natural. We call it it's a, a natural, natural pause. pause. <laughs> a pregnant pause. Well, see, there was another you know, one right there. Congratulations. Twins. <laughs> <laughs> twins. So you guys did you guys did a, an true. audio podcast uh, without your clothes on. No, 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 no! Don't get crazy. I was gonna say that's just insane. Shirtless, just man. Shirts. It was just, just a shirtless shirts. one. Yeah. It was just for the for the boys. And people still they what they? <laughs> it was for the bullies. They just heard I it. I said the boys. And you listen and you imagine you imagine you guys without shirts. I, I think mean, we. Sh- I think that's the first the one that we should. At all? <laughs> we should do a cartoon of of that. Yeah, we. Yeah. That's, that's a good idea. Yeah. We're gonna yeah. do a cartoon version. The first one will be us topless. And we can we can control. And Jeremy will be able to fix his anatomically correct. Dude. I guess we can only go up Jer- from there. Jeremy finds his nipple. I'm going <laughs> to... That's episode one. They're yeah. like sliced Slim Jims. No. Oh, <laughs> no, boy. That's not true. 
That's oh. not true at all. I'll show them wow. to you right now. Wait, sliced which way? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, long ways. Oh, that's so weird. It could also be uh, uh, stab wound. Um, strange. Like dark well, the, spaghettis? <laughs> it's like whole wheat spaghetti. <laughs> I, I didn't want to say that either. You know, that was bad. Yeah. No, you can say whatever you like. <laughs> and you whatever just you want. did. We're friends. <laughs> Nasty. That was very, that was very gross. No, I don't want to ever spaghetti. say dark spaghettis again. <laughs> you just did. Dark spaghettis. Classic Eminem line. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I set him up, you knock him down. It's That's how the, we do it's it. It's in the new DBC game, thing, dark folks. spaghettis. Yeah. He's like, I gotta become a rapper. My mom keeps burning this spaghetti. <laughs> well, if you go to a Sicilian place, you can get squid ink pasta, Dan. Yeah, right, it's a dark spaghetti. That is. That's true. Yeah, that is a technically legal. And people Sicilian. know that that was also the alternative name for Black Mirror. Dark spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. Get out of here. It's a little bit of trivia. No way. Listen, man. Pennies get delivered for a billion fucking dollars. I can say whatever the fuck I want. It's true. <laughs> I'm so Am gullible. I cursing too much? You guys know no, it. No, it's okay. It's I admit. Okay. We don't, we don't, yeah, we don't have a network anymore. We put this up on our own now, so. Oh, right. Yeah. I gotta go. I do it by, <laughs> I do it by flipping the blinds back and forth really fast in front of my window. That's how I transmit. So, Rick, what's, uh, what's the plot of the first episode of Dark Spaghetti? Uh, nice. Well, they call it Black Mirror now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the first episode of uh, Dark Spaghetti, it's all about these sort of sci-fi situations in an Italian restaurant. Right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, oh, my God, the scampi's a fucking robot or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking blah, 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 third act twist, fucking ship it. There, done. <laughs> Listen. It, Everybody makes a big deal. Oh, I got the TV show. <laughs> Get the fuck. <laughs> That's all it takes, dude. Walk into an office. Well, how can we put something, one of your ideas on our tube? <laughs> on our square that's shiny? <laughs> Sure, I got an idea. Napkins talk. <laughs> and they're cops. It's a twi- Whoa. Fucking <laughs> in, man. That escalated. I almost Plug sold a TV me. show about a fucking pilgrim detective. Really? Yeah. And his partner's a turkey. <laughs> now listen, man. <laughs> you start with the fucking close-up. You don't know who he is yet. Eyes, face. Just, uh, just eyes. Slowly it starts, but super slow. And you're like, oh, dude, this guy's wearing a pilgrim hat. Is it the Quaker but oatmeal guy? Yeah, he's a, he's a full blown pilgrim. He so been as you're pulling out, he's like, listen, man, I'm not looking at your wife when she comes into the fucking room, dude. We're partners. We're going to have dinner. We're going to hang some nights. Maybe we play cards. Who the hell knows? <laughs> and he's yelling at his partner. And he's, hey, but you're seeing he's got the white collar and the, he's a fucking pilgrim. <laughs> and you finally get wide enough and it's like, <laughs> And it's a fucking turkey. It's a buddy. And you're like, what it's the fuck is this show? It, Boom! Pilgrim Cop. <laughs> <laughs> it's a buddy comedy. And that's it, dude. And, uh, and Fox almost bought that shit. I don't care what anybody it's says. Almost, I was Danny. this close. Danny, we almost worked together uh, again, <laughs> baby. Because you wrote that for me? I am trying, you're dude. The turkey. I was No, I was going to be the turkey. Danny's the cop. Oh, thanks. I don't care what anybody says. Wow. I'm like, this shit is hey, Rick, we itself, should man. talk after the show. Who would watch show? that? <laughs> all right, all right. Thank you. A couple you. people would watch this it. Is <laughs> Pilgrim Cop, man. Thank you. <laughs> we're, t we're testing it tonight. This, is, this feels like, a, like a, a learning channel show. It could be. Pilgrim Cop. Maybe we yeah. went to the wrong place. <laughs> Fox? Yeah. Fox, Fox I think like mid-2000s Fox, like they're like, oh shit, Joe Millionaire's canceled. Do it, Pilgrim Cop? Yeah, maybe we do Pilgrim <laughs> Cop. That was, the, that was yeah. the year for that. I also we're, think that you could take like a wheel... And it could be like cop, lawyer, blah, 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 you know, firefighter, yep. whatever it is. And then shit on the other side, like pilgrim, <laughs> asshole, fucking whatever. And then you just Front, be like, frontier. <laughs> mayor. <laughs> Mustache. <laughs> Mustache mayor. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or pilgrim cop. Pilgrim cop. If you like that one. one better, let's roll with that one. Sorry I was late. I had a 14 course meal again. <laughs> It's Every day is Thanksgiving coming out of my nose. For me. <laughs> Every day is Thanksgiving. Stop I, or I'll fire my musket. Because <laughs> I'm <a> pilgrim. <laughs> this show has been canceled. Yeah, it has been. It's gone. Before it ever Coming got up there. next, elementary. Almost, though. <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> wow. I don't know how many more times they can make that Sherlock Holmes a thing. Mo God. Hey, it's, it's paying for. Uh, there's uh, there's my, always uh, mysteries. There's, 
<laughs> One what? thing in life's for certain, so there's always <laughs> mysteries. <laughs> Is What's it gonna happen next? We don't what? know. Jeremy, don't know. did you fact check on purgatory? I, we already talked about. No, it. yeah. See, everybody knows he's the one that ate the gummy, not what? me. <laughs> no, I'm no, on top who of my ate shit. The gummy? Jeremy, can you look up Pilgrim Cop? Thank you. Yes. Can you? Can you? I want to see if this is a. This is the use of Pilgrim Cop. Can you look Cop. up Pilgrim Cop re, recap wait, Im- podcast? Wait, image search. Google uh, image. Wait, wait. Do you want a, Do you want a Pilgrim Cop outside or in a church? Uh. I shit you not. This is what comes up for Pilgrim Cop. <laughs> uh, uh, there he is. There's the star of Pilgrim Cop. What's up? That's great. I love that guy. He's my favorite. It's fucking Simon Pegg, guys. He's undercover. It's fucking Simon Pegg is fucking Pilgrim Cop. It's like a weird... He's tall. He's thing. damn near six feet. I, I can tell. I was going to say, and then with the Pilgrim hat, he's over six feet. Holy shit. Here he goes, though. What's that? What's that guy? He's there he like is. A, there he is. Come on. What's These up? are all oh, bad cops for some reason. All, I don't know what that's code name for Pilgrim yeah, Cop. Yeah, Pilgrim Cop is a bad cop. We might have just cracked the code. Yeah, no, yeah. Larry's not here anymore. No, we sent him to be a pilgrim cop somewhere. You want to play pilgrim cop, turkey <laughs> cop? I love that. <laughs> He's just, He's like, uh, my, my, my uncle's a cop. Mm, pilgrim <laughs> cop? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, my man, he's down at the bar drinking Bloody Marys. <laughs> Fucking guy. That was one of those Google searches where Google should have been like, nope, sorry. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, nothing you for you. We don't have anything for don't this because that's stupid. Why would anyone look for that? <laughs> <laughs> they should. They should have had that response. Like, what are you doing searching for this dumbass? Instead, they're like, oh, we got about 50, 60 pictures you can look at. <laughs> if you're feeling pilgrim copy today, working overtime to supply <laughs> people's obscure needs. Oh, let's get some pilgrim pop photos. God it's like a. It's like internet. a shitty wizard. <laughs> Rick, shitty wizard. Shitty Wizard was a, a TLC show as well. Oh, really? <laughs> Shitty That's Wizard. That's a great show. That's a great show. Spin See? the wheel. Shitty Wizard. Tuesdays after <laughs> Pilgrim Conference. I cast a spell. <laughs> what would happen? Nothing. 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 He, nothing, nothing, he doesn't he do any spell. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe like the wrong things might happen oh, in right. some episodes. I'm just shitty. And I don't, I don't wizard? think I mean, that that's not even a very good wizard. Mm-hmm. I don't think any of us would be cop. thinking about this, though, if it wasn't for UHF. Cause yeah, I think UHF made our brains, gave our yeah. brains the ability to, yeah. to make these generated yeah. TV shows. Wheel well. of Fish. Don't you know the Dewey Decimal System? <laughs> Conan yeah. the Librarian. Yeah. God damn, that was yeah. good. Drink from the fire hose. Drink from the fire hose. Yeah, Spatula this. City. Yeah. Spatula City feels yeah. like a store that would be in San Francisco now. Yeah. Like a, it's singular use store. Prove us wrong, San Fran. They won't. They'll do that. And it'll be like smart. F- it'll be connected to your phone or something like the spatulas. It tells you how hot. Doesn't the exist. Your, your your pancake. Somebody in the audience <laughs> says it doesn't exist. Your pancake is ready to <laughs> flip now. You know. Wait, they, someone said it doesn't exist after 10 yeah. minutes of Pilgrim Cop? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. really. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah. the one I have a problem <laughs> yeah. with. Yeah. I, drop I, was on board with, with spatula. I draw the line at flipper, F-L-I-P-R, the smart connected <laughs> spatula that allows, <laughs> that, allows <laughs> that tells your smartphone when Why to. Why would you need that? Every town needs a pilgrim cop. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shit, man. Only pilgrim cops, they, uh-huh. they patrol spatula cities <laughs> everywhere. Keeping them safe from turkeys and... Spatulas. Okay. Yeah. Danny, did you have run-ins with the law growing up? Not to ask you a very personal uh, question. But, oh, okay. yeah. I, a couple of times. Really? Let me Google yeah. it. Did you talk your way out of it? Uh, no. Don't Google it. No, okay, no, if don't you want Google to. It. Okay. <laughs> Can we please Look. Google it? Well... When I was a kid, yeah, I got in trouble once for being in a car with someone who uh, had been drinking, and then uh, it was a stupid move. Freshman year of high school, I was at a party with seniors, and I got to imbibe an alcohol, and I got drunk, and my friend who brought me there got drunk. And then the person whose house we were at, parents called and said, we're coming home, and he's like, everybody out, get out. And so I got in the car with my friend who was drunk, clearly, and I was 14 and stupid, and he didn't know how, he couldn't figure out how to drive his uh, uh, stick shift car because he was drunk. And he made a left turn and he hit a tree. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. I, uh, he, I mean, he wasn't wearing a seatbelt, so how he just had tree? to hit the windshield and stuff. <laughs> how the tree the, was, how the, the tree? tree was mildly messed up. <laughs> and the, and the, the River Edge Police Department came and they, they asked for IDs and everyone was 18. And then they got to me and I was like, I don't have an ID. How old are you? 11. 14. I'm hanging and out with like, some seniors. All right, they bring four more cops and like. Oh Unfortunately, man. the kid who was driving got in a lot of trouble because he endangered the welfare of a minor. Oh. Yeah. Not to mention a tree. 
Not you to mention, <laughs> not to mention a tree. Sounds but like an cut, episode. Cut to sixteen years later. I got, uh, I got popped in Maryland for possession of marijuana, and that mm-hmm. was a stupid thing. Are we pulling everybody's yeah, jackets now, Rick? What did happened. you do? <laughs> it just uh, happens. But, I but got no, a no, no. But here's the kicker of all this: is that I had to go down to Maryland to go and try to pay and and deal with all of it, and the cop was like. He had to go to, to be there, and he goes, My daughter, Why didn't you tell me who you were? My I daughter's a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> really? I swear to God. And I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, you should have told me. And I was like, yeah, officer, I wanted to be like, yeah, I know. I'm that gift from TV. Do you want to get me out of this <laughs> you know, shitty possession <laughs> no, thing? I love smoking weed and watching Three months Pete later. Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Three months later, Marilyn decriminalizes weed. I, I, oh, fuck. And I was like, you sons of bitches. He's like, I love smoking confiscated weed while watching Pete. <laughs> 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 yeah. So Next yeah. time, ask for me in person. <laughs> <laughs> no, here's my, here's my no, no, that's a dark spaghetti storyline if I've ever. That's I've true. Ever yeah, heard that's, that's, a that's dark, dark spaghetti. spaghetti. Truly, that's a dark spaghetti if I've ever mm. heard. Well, guys, God damn yeah, dark we've, uh, the time uh, goes by so fast when we're having fun talking yeah. about pilgrim cops and purgatory, yeah. and reminiscing and stuff. Yeah. about the good times. Yep. Purgatory, excuse me. Purgatory. purgatory. <laughs> we started something here With tonight. With an e. Uh, Rick, you got any plugs? Nah. Hair plugs? <laughs> this is all my real hair. <laughs> at, his, I got there before I 100% did. 100% natural. His yeah, plugs man. are at D Tamborelli on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, follow uh, Danny on Instagram and Twitter and <laughs> let's buy some Danny I'm t-shirts. Go, I'm Gomez was taken, that's mine. That's right. Uh, yeah. Well, because it was, Danny. Gomez was taken. So he couldn't yeah. get that. So Danny so Tamborelli was taken, too, and I didn't bitch about it in my, <laughs> oh, in my handle. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. Who took, who took it? I don't know. Someone took it. I, there's, I really? couldn't get Somebody Danny Tamborelli on, on, on Twitter, but I got it on Instagram. And someone oh, had okay. DannyTamborelli.com. What a dumbass that person was. <laughs> yeah, what oh, a dumbass. They, they send me... They send me <laughs> I hate that guy. <laughs> Oh yeah, but what oh, if that's he posts funny. like the pictures no, they of you tried that to are his favorites? No, they <laughs> sent me an email asking if I wanted to doubled. buy it back for ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars? Never mind. Let's <laughs> talk about it later, if that's dude. That's you. That you tried. You offered me ten thousand dollars. Face to face. Yeah. Face to face. Hey, you want your DannyTamborelli.com? It's that's uh, what ten I said, bro. Ten G's. What's up? I'll take it in pennies. And you know what I did? I showed Jeremy, <laughs> and Jeremy wrote an email back that said basically. It said... I uh, know what it says because I read it. <laughs> <laughs> the gist was, you just got the lemon of all domains. <laughs> oh, like, wow. You think Good you're going to scam buddy. us for money? Actually, le- lemon party is the lemon of all domains. Whoa. 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 Yeah. Good point. No Valid. one it's should true. ever look that up. I'm, I've said horrible things up here tonight, and I'm it's sorry. Really it's true. true. Go into good, the back. It's, not, it's, uh, it's three old guys blowing two old guys. Oh, yeah. wow. It's I think. a bunch oh, of love. Yeah, and that's the one. That's the whole site. It's weird. Yeah, like, there's nothing. Aren't you guys from the, the summer of love? Fine. Just let it go. What's the matter, man? There's, there's no pop-up ads or anything? No, no there's no, no ads. Definitely no, no pop-ups. No, it's... But if you go to that site a lot, your computer definitely has them already. That's like helicopter dick. Same web, same. We, oh, man. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a dot .org, too. Sorry. No, no, all good. Just try both. What kind of plugs do you have, uh, Mr. Mr. Brian? On my head, none, as you can see. But uh, I, you can find me on IGN. I'm on Twitter at Agent Bizzle. I uh, also do a show called The Comedy Button every single week with my awesome. tall friend Max right here. Hey, Max. Max. Tall friend Max. Mm-hmm. Uh, these guys have been on it, and it was a good time. So then they had me here, and I'm still trying to figure out what this is, but we're, we're doing it. Oh, that's exactly <laughs> uh, You know what? You're not the first uh, guest to say that, and that's what we Beautiful. like. Beautiful. Yeah. Let's, get, let's give a big round. Ra- get the chloroform. Yeah. Spirits are high. Let's give a big round of applause for our guests. <laughs> Thank you to our guests. Thanks Brian to the Thank you. Special Brian guests. Gomez. Brian Altano. We thank you. Jeremy Bailey. Jeremy Bailey. You can find me at Remy Bailey and also have another podcast called Fresh Beef. He's at Ad Dan D. Tamborelli. He's at, at Michael C. Morona. Thank you all so much for coming out. And thanks to uh, SF Sketch Fest. Oh, and we're going to be hanging out at. Uh, where the fuck are we going? Swedish American Hall! And we're gonna watch the Undone Sweater, so come uh, have some drinks with us. <laughs>